Let me ask you a question. Have you ever been hacked? If you haven't, then consider yourself lucky. As hacking is a serious problem in today's digital world. There are many stories of hackers hacking into social media accounts, stealing personal information like pains, credit card details, and even taking control of organizations and banks' computer and database systems. And that is what today's topic is all about. What is hacking? What is ethical hacking? Career in ethical hacking. So, what's the deal with hacking? Is it just like in the movies where the hackers wears a black hoodie and types really fast? Well, no. That's one of the biggest myths about the hacking. Hackers don't always wear black hoodies and sit in the dark rooms typing away in their laptops. Neither do they talk in a creepy and distorted voice. But it is a pretty interesting field as we see in the movies. In order to make it relatable, I have created an animated video to explain hacking. I hope you will like the video. And if you do, then do not forget to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Let's assume this is your house and from the top the house looks like this. This is your room, this is your parents room, this is the drawing room, kitchen and balcony. Let's say you and your family go out of town for vacation, you switch off the light, lock the doors and leave. Now let's say a thief knows about your vacation and tries to steal from your house while you are not there. How do you think the thief will try to enter your house? One option is he can go to main entry gate and try to break the lock. If the lock is weak, the thief may break it and enter your house. But luckily, you have strong lock and the thief can't break it. The thief may then try to enter through the balcony door. He climbs to your balcony and tries to enter inside. But again, the door is locked and he can't get in. Next, he may just roam around the house to see what are the other ways he can get in. He sees that you have glass windows in your dining area. He approaches the window, breaks the glass and then enters the house through the window. He is in your house now. His aim is to steal as much as wealth as possible. So he directly starts searching for a locker in your house. He enters your parents room, open the cupboard and sees the locker. It's a locker which opens when the right code is given to it. The thief enters 0000 as this is a common code for lockers. The locker doesn't open, he keeps trying a number of common codes. Finally he enters 9999 and the locker opens. He takes the cash inside and flees through the windows he entered. Now let's analyze the story we just told you. You can consider this house as a system which is made up of different components. You have walls, doors, windows, furnitures, etc. You are the owner of the system and the thief is a person who has experience with how to enter this house. In this case, we can compare our thief with a hacker. The thief tries multiple ways to enter your house and found the possible entry points which would let him enter your house. And that's exactly what hackers does. A hacker also tries multiple ways to enter a system and finds possible entry points which would let him enter the system. Now, if we consider the house as a system, we can say that the main entry lock was strong, so the main entry was secure. The balcony door was properly locked, so the balcony entry was secure. The windows were easily breakable, so the window entry was insecure. The locker was easy to find. The locker had a code which was easy to guess. These are what we call loopholes in a system. Small things which can be exploited to cause bigger problems. Hacking is the art or technique of finding and exploiting a security loophole in a system. This system can be a website, software, computer or even a human being. So, what is ethical hacking? Whereas, ethical hacking is the practice of using the same techniques and tools as malicious hackers but with a goal of finding and fixing loopholes in our computer systems and networks before that can be exploited by cyber criminals. They think like a malicious hackers but are completely legal and ethical. Now let's talk about a career in hacking. With the entire world and its data coming online, the demand for ethical hackers and cyber security experts is increasing. The startup salary of a cyber security analyst is 6.8 LPA plus. So to pursue a career in ethical hacking, you should have first an interest in technology, computer systems and networks. Second, a strong foundation in programming languages such as Python, C++ and Java. Ethical hackers are the one who are curious and have an ability to approach problems from different angles in order to identify potential vulnerabilities and threats. So if you are the one, then I recommend you to learn more about this field. At Internshala, we do have an online training on ethical hacking. The training is available in Hindi as well. You will get to know about different types of cyber attacks and vulnerabilities and insights into tools used by ethical hackers. For more such content, stay tuned to the channel. We will soon come with more videos on ethical hacking. Till then, happy learning.